Okay, now I'm doing the other side of it. I take the 39 centimeter from the edge of this seam and then three and a half centimeter from the edge to the end the, where the uh, rope will go there. And so in total 43, I mark it here with this uh, crayon and I will go like that. Um, of course, this is three, uh, three and a half, so I have to add another three and a half, so because it will be folded. So this is one three and a half here, so I have to add another uh, three and a half here, so that will be almost here. Then I will turn the seam, it will be something like this here, and I will pass the rope. So later I may think about putting something in the middle to give it a little bit of strength and the structure so it will be round, it will not sag into the um, uh, light path of the back. Okay, this is the way I'm sewing now. This is the top part and this will be the bottom. And you can see I put the seam, uh, holding it in place because it's a tough material with these pegs, cloth pegs, and I'm sewing it. Uh, it's tough, but I manage it. Uh, the, the trick is use a good thick uh, needle. Uh, I've now done the bottom part with elastic band and the top part with the rope. So the bottom part I pass this elastic band through this here. The trick is to use a safety pin and gradually push it through here and uh, every time is a little bit uh, time consuming but it will it can be done easily in three four minutes and this one was much easier because you think it just passes through that and now i'm going to test it so here to there is uh, 39 to 40 centimeter you can measure it for yourself and just adjust for your telescope this is for a 25 uh, 250 millimeter to, um, or 10 inch uh, Flex tube, Dobsonian, that's a scar watcher. Okay, first I attach this uh, elastic band part. Now I'll go after that for this rope. And let's do it. Okay, this is the way it looks, as you can see. And I'm now going to um, look at the inside of the tube. So I have now positioned it for seeing how is the inside and let's see how is the inside. As you can see, I don't see any obstruction on the way of the light. Let me just look at an object and see how it will be. Okay, let's see how it is. Uh, I've not put the eyepiece but you can see the field of view slightly by this side that I'm touching and it's slightly there I can put some uh, but this exists even with the Astro Zap uh, I have those in uh, the Flex 300p that exactly exists there I can put some some material here to give it that spherical shape uh, I mean curved shape this is a piece of plastic that can bend easily without breaking I can put it inside it and uh, or do something like a guitar or piano wire can also hold the shape. Mm, I may find a way for that but at the moment that's what I wanted. I can uh, yeah, I can make it permanent or and that means I will attach this here or if I don't attach it here I can remove it every time I don't want it by using this tie and then the, all this shroud comes like a skirt falls down toward this way anytime I'm not using it it comes like that and I can put it up if you want use it 
Okay, if you see, I put that plastic uh, piece of plastic here. I noticed the Astro Zap also has such a thing. So practically, that's how it is. And this is the part that uh, I'm pressing. You can see. When you look from here, again the view toward the uh, one o'clock is much better. If I press it, you can see that it goes down. So, um, this part, I will find another piece of that plastic and put it there. Okay, I've cut that piece of plastic uh, along the length into two pieces, so I can just join them to there. And I've joined these two pieces of plastic together. Now I'm going to make a circle and put it inside that shroud. So now I have uh, installed this uh, plastic ring like that. And it looks like this. I may just, uh, you know, put some uh, black uh, ink around the edge. I may not do it because the other, the original thing is also is not black. And if I look here, this is the view I will see. The turn of the flash, so you can see. And I see a good improvement. I can add another one. This is now I transferred it to the top part. If I add it to the bottom part, I will have a better setting. This is now here. Can add another one here midway, but at the moment that's enough adequate for the purpose. Part of that problem is because of the sagging of here, so when I pull it down, that will be stretch it, and the view will come better. So let me just show it to you now, like that. Uh, the view is now better, actually, it's near circular, so the whole uh, mirror is illuminated almost. And what you see at the 10 o'clock is the focuser, actually. I can move it now, you can see this is the focuser. I take it out of the field of view. And with a little duct tape, the size of a fingernail, also attach the excess flap to the rest of the shroud so practically is not uh, bothering is not hanging is blocking the light also that's very good and this uh, the price of this is now depending on where you buy it anything between 100 pounds to 200 pounds and I made it almost for free I started by around uh, six o'clock and now is around half past seven and it's done